Hello, 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 gang. Welcome back to the channel. Jay Wower here. It's the Oldham Days League One escapades underway, and the new signings have bedded in, and we're doing all right. But to be able to speed, there's only one man who's capable. He is the large cheddar himself, Grey Wower. Yes, thank you very much for that. So, Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome back. So, the Carabao Cup first round against Sheffield United, and it was Leighton Stewart who put Oldham in the lead after half an hour. At the start of the second half, Sheffield United did come back into it. Bayo back to Davis, who crossed in, and Jones with the header. And surely the higher league opposition for newly promoted Oldham was going to be a bridge too far, but no. Ty Soji stole in and levered it into the top corner. 2 1, and Oldham progress. And following their opening day success against Bradford, Oldham were at home to Wigan. And just before half time, Oakley Cannonier found Leighton Stewart, who scored yet again. He is on fire this season, is Leighton. 1 0. And Rafty Pedder with the corner put it across to Jasper Moon, who nodded in at the far post to make it two. And that's how it finished. Three more points for Oldham. What a start. And against Burton Albion was where the wheel started to fall off. Burn broke through after five minutes, and Magnus Norman could have done better, but didn't. 1-0. And with 18 minutes to go, the ball was dinked through and Byrne hit the bar and then just nodded, knocked in the rebound. Game over at 2-0. McDonough came on for his debut. And, then, and within three minutes of this, Cannonier found him. Well, by proxy. Got through to McDonough and he scored, making it 2-1. And Cannonier found him again and McDonough leathered it in off the bar. It was 2-2 and two goals for the youngster. And against Shrewsbury in the Carabao Cup, second round, Rafferty Pedder made it 1-0. And of course, you remember the game against Shrewsbury last season in the FA Cup. Um, not shy of a goal, and Pitchford made it 1-1 right at the start of the second half. Well, it only took a minute and a half after the equaliser for Oldham to go back ahead. Rafferty Pedder crossed to Adair. I dare you hit one. And he dared. He dared. I dare you. 2-1. Um, 58 minutes gone and ball from Norman. It broke to House who knocked it into an open goal. 2-2. Two -two. Mitchell Roberts pulled it down the wing to Ryan Cassidy who took it on his chest, played it across and Leighton Stewart again. He has been in scintillating form, making it 3-2 there. And shortly after, Ronnie Stutter came through, found Leighton Stewart again who, we'll say, bundled it home. 4-2. However, there was enough time for Shrewsbury to get a goal back. House headed it home. A very strange game here against Chesterfield. So, early, early doors, Kelly broke through and knocked it home. Then Harrison Burroughs got sent off with a straight red card on 12 minutes. And you thought, that's probably going to be it for the game. But no, Oakley Cannonier broke through and he knocked it home. Making it 1-1 after 21 minutes. But it all fell apart before half time. Um, Kelly broke through and made it two. And it was only a minute later that the holes were appearing. Phillips comes down the wing and crosses it in. And Kelly gets his hat trick with inside 37 minutes. And, in, and just another, again, another couple of minutes later, Kelly managed to find himself in position to knock home. Very fortuitous it broke for him. 4 1 now. Just before half time, the Rafferty Pedder found Leighton Stewart, who came through. Sliver of hope for Oldham? You'd think not. But straight away at the start of the second half, Oakley Cannonier pulls it back to Pedder. Goes to Adair and it's back to Cannonier. Brilliant finish into the far corner. Thierry Henry-esque. Now it's 4-3 and unfortunately with five minutes to go, Phillips finds Dobber on the wing. Who's back to Phillips. He makes it 5-3 and it is game over. But that wasn't the end of the goal scoring because Leighton Stewart found himself in the clear. Bearing down on goal. And of course, you put, you put your house on him scoring. And he did score. 5-4. The 10 men of Oldham holding very firm. And giving it a good go. Another game against Shrewsbury. And another 5-1 victory. Um, this time in the Papa John's Trophy. Ronnie Stutter opened the goal scoring with inside 10 minutes. Harry Vaughan with a free kick, making it 2. Ryan Cassidy found himself in the clear and nodded it home. 3-0. And it was 4 before half time. Smith, great ball to Ronnie Stutter and a great finish. Second half, Grayson whipped in the corner and Lomwick with the goal, making it 4-1. But the four-goal lead was restored very quickly with McDonough 
down the right hand side back to um, Robinson who found Cassidy making it five great victory and we're not going to bring in the highlights to this one but Sheffield Wednesday absolutely battered Oldham in this game 4-0 although the XG Oldham had good amount of XG but couldn't find the goal and yeah just got absolutely taken apart in this second half However, bouncing back brilliantly against Preston with a 1-0 victory. The only goal of the game coming from Oakley Cannonier, who, great touch, great finish. Oakley's been fantastic this season. He's settled in very well now. The Carabao Cup dream was over with a 1-0 defeat to Brighton. No shots on target, 0.09 XG, created absolutely nothing, absolutely awful. It was just one of those games. And Rafferty Pedder with a free kick against Milton Keynes Dons with an absolute scorcher of a goal. 50 minutes into the second half and Ty Soji comes down the wing and finds Rafferty Pedder who scores his second of the game. And the points were secured in the 87th minute with Harrison Burroughs finding Mitchell Roberts and it was 3-0. That's how it finished. Another game, another 1-0 victory and another singular goal for Oakley Cannon here. He is the difference maker in a lot of these games at the moment and he's getting a lot of points for Oldham. 1-0 away at Reading and against Fleetwood well. Fleetwood were... 1-0 up within 10 minutes. And inside 23 minutes, it was 2. However, Cassidy from the spot just before half-time, making it 2-1. And within f 6 minutes of the second half, Oakley Cannonier found Saxon early, who found Ryan Cassidy, who made it 2-2. And then it was a last-ditch drama. 85 minutes, McDonough finds himself through. 3-2. However, the lead lasted less than 60 seconds as because Fleetwood came down the wing with McCarran. Found Mippo and 3 3. That's how we finished. And the Papa John's Trophy journey continued with a victory against Liverpool. Ronnie Stutter with the opening goal. Just before half time, Liverpool did come back in. Liverpool under 21s came back into it, should I say. Catamol with the finish. And Ronnie Stutter in stoppage time found Leighton Stewart, who found McDonough, made it 2 1. And that's how it finished. Then back to back defeats. A 1 0 defeat to Wickham. A penalty was the uh, only goal of the game. And then it's league leaders Bristol City. Uh, it was 1-1. Um, it went down to 10 men and you thought maybe, just maybe. But no, Bristol City did get the victory. Deservedly so, really. And against Crawley, it was 4-0. Oakley Cannonier has his shot saved and Leighton Stewart with the finish. Adair with a great ball through to Leighton Stewart who made it too. De Haney with the cross in for... Leighton Stewart making it three. And Crawley went down to 10 men after it was 3 0, so it was all but done by then. But Ty Sodgy managed to make it four. Great victory for Oldham. And that is where I will leave you. There were two more games, but they were both 0 0. We've had Charlton and Oxford, who were both 0 0. So you've come back in some very poor goal scoring form. Thank you very much. I've been Grey Wower. Back to the gaffer. Yeah, so. Thank you very much, Grey Wower, for that. So, in League One, we are seventh. Um, we're going great guns at the moment. Uh, in relegation, it's absolutely going to happen. It's absolutely going to happen. We're doing really well. I'm really pleased. So, today, Peterborough, who are actually tenth. They were in the playoff places to begin with. And then Lincoln, who are third. So, we've got two tough games. Let's kick straight off against Peterborough, then. I've already picked the team. Let's go. Okay, so here we go against Peterborough away. Saxon early now with a free kick. Cross. Weir. Ooh, over the bar. Robinson. Across. Ronnie Stutter. It's his fourth of the season, and everyone's chipping in with goals. Even Ty Sodgy and Oakley Cannonier, who were poor last season, goal scoring wise. I tell you who has been a bit underwhelming Ryan Cassidy, the goal machine. He's arguably been the worst. I don't know how many Cassidy's he's got. He's not playing as often though because he's out of form and other people are scoring. So when, it, when, you, when you're scoring goals, you're in the team. We've got a lot of quality up front. Robinson now. The Soji. Back to Robinson. The other Robinson. Adair. Sammy Robinson to Josh Robinson. Oh, Josh Robinson. Oh, if we concede here, I'll be fuming. Oh, we have. Gosh. Hit. I'm not impressed. I'm not going to haul him off now. Because if I do, I'm just using one of my stoppages for subs. 
He's coming off now. Here we go. Second half underway. Egan. Bond. Ekpitia. Connolly. Wilson. Fredericks. Wilson. Oh, get it out. Well done, Gamble. Okay, so Ghent, Bagan, Bond. Hmm. Peterborough have. I think they've just come back down. So they're probably underperforming being 10th. Oh, Aaron Connolly with a goal. Eight for the season for him. If we look at him, he's worth six to eight point four million. And look how good he is. Wants to leave the club. Come to me, mate. Can't afford you. Charlie Wellens. Big ball from Kingdon. Cassidy. He chases. Back to early. Ronnie Stutter. Oh, just over the bar, Ronnie. Ty Sodgy's playing poor. So Leighton Stewart's coming on. Craig Ware's playing well. Sammy Robinson's playing well. Isaac Smith's not. Jack Kingdon isn't playing great and he's on a yellow card, so maybe. I haven't got a bloody centre back. Oh, it's another goal. It's Aaron Connolly. It's offside. We've got a highlight. Dutter, Robinson, Gamble. Stewart's offside, I think. He's offside. Ah, oh, I thought he was off. I hate it. You know. But when a player's offside, they seem to have 20 finishing and 20 composure. They always score, don't they? We've lost 2-1. Peterborough have now leapfrogged us. We're in ninth. But, hey, on 22 points after 15 games. I'm more than happy with that. So we've now got a tough game against Lincoln away. Three days time. So a B plus from the board. I don't get it. We're so far and away above expectations. And the supporters, C plus. We started the season on a B with them. They want us to avoid relegation. Was doing it by a mile. So infuriating. Okay, so we've absolutely just fluffed this. Harry Vaughan's leaving. So we're going to have to sell him. Anyone interested in Harry? No offers for Vaughan. Cardiff have offered me the job interview. I'm not going. Uh, away at Lincoln. I mean, Harry Vaughan just kicking in over force just means we're going to play Adair a lot more. And I'll be honest with you, there's a couple of central midfielders that I've got my eye on. Um, Jerry McCann, for one. That guy from somewhere in Northern Ireland. I think. Don't know if he wants to come to me. He was 16. He wants to keep his um, continuous um, development somewhere else. Wherever he was. Hopefully he's changed his mind. No highlights to speak of so far. But a bit of encouragement out there and they love it. Two tough away games. Lincoln and Peterborough in this episode. So I've not come back for an easy run of it. I'm glad I came back for these to be fair because the pre I was thinking about coming back for the previous two against opposition that were much further down the league table. Uh, it was bad to pack nil nil, so a wise choice. Didn't take the easy way out. I'm probably going to get two defeats, so. What are you going to do? Okay, so we're not doing very well. I'm going to leave it as it is for now. Oh, straight away to start the second half. Burrows. Where? Burrows. <gasps> Harrison. Oh, here we go. Harrison Burrows now with a free kick. Can he finish it? Oh, was that a save? It was a save. What a save that was. Corner. Oh, oh, the keeper is keeping them in it. Offside, anyway. 
Right, nothing is happening up front. So Leighton Stewart is coming off for... We'll go Ryan Cassidy. Ty Stodgy for Ronnie Stutter. Um, Harrison Burrows. No. Mm, Mitchell Roberts is having a shocker. Josh Robinson. And that's it. Three changes. I'm happy with that. Because we've got a few players playing all right. Harrison Burrows, while he's not playing great, He's got the set piece of uh, ability. If we get a, if we get a highlight, which we haven't. Oh, a dismal nil nil. But we'll take the point. We will take the point. We're we're, we're happy enough with the draw away at Lincoln. Promotion favourites Lincoln. I think. Oh no, Lincoln. Are, Lincoln are media predicted eighth. My apologies. Uh, but Peterborough are up there. Bristol City, you know, we've done all right against some of these teams. So, fair enough. Not the best, not the worst result. We are eighth at the end of this episode. We've had three nil-nils in the last four games. It's not. It's too early to panic. It's too early to panic. Here's the schedule then. Uh, it's easily going to be January. And I think the if there's a bit of business going on in January, then then's going to be the time to come back. Um... I don't know, I've got my eye on Charlton, Chesterfield and Reading. Two of those three. Or Reading and Sheffield Wednesday. Maybe. We got battered by Sheffield Wednesday last time, so maybe a bit of redemption. Or you can just see me unravel. Sure you'll enjoy that, gang. Thanks for watching. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel. Take care, and I'll see you soon.